Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Easter weekend. Uh, tomorrow's already Monday, back to life, back to reality. And come two weeks from Wednesday, we will be headed to Kansas City for the NFL Draft. Time is literally flying by, and you cannot waste a minute. So last weekend, we were fortunate enough. I have been following the Michael Irving story for quite a while and um, bringing you the latest updates and things on there. And we were fortunate enough to actually see Michael Irving last weekend in Chantilly, Virginia, an autograph signing show. Um, what transpired this weekend is interesting. It's sad and interesting. Um, this is from Fanside, uh, an article uh, yesterday, and this is basically Michael Irvin was tweeting out um, he, from Brazil that he literally had to get away. I don't know if he's thinking about trying to do a Southwest commercial or something, but that might not be a bad idea. But Dallas Cowboys Hall of Fame receivers in limbo uh, analyst uh, Michael Irving apparently in Rio de Janeiro this weekend, and he said, I had to get away. He wrote on Twitter, but he wanted to find a way to view the UFC pay-per-view fight uh, staged in Miami. And so this is actually this is actually his Instagram post after he found some people who were able to uh, get the so you could see the pay-per-view fight. Let's go to the tape. Did y'all see that? I found a spot in Brazil to watch the fight. We did it, oh my God! We did it, baby. I don't even know these jokes, but we watched the fight together, and now we are born. Oh my God! We're going to have a three. We're going to have a three, and we all decided before the fight, if there's a three, we all going to it. Together. We going to it, baby. We going to it together. I just, I was hiding from these jokes, and they found me in Brazil. All right, so that was Michael Irvin from Brazil where he had a little bit of his joy. Now, I will say that last weekend I was fortunate enough to uh, go to the autograph signing show, um, and it was interesting. I, I wish I could have taped more from the event, but, you know, when you go to the autograph signing shows, they end up having um, – they end up having uh, photographs. So you can get photographs with the players, or you can get an autograph, or you can get both. And seeing Michael Irvin in the photo booth, you know, he was interacting with people. He was being Michael Irvin, you know, and you looked at it and said, okay, he's doing okay then from where he was. I got up there, and I actually started, I, I ended up building uh, one of the plaques that I, I do um, with my inventables. And it's a picture of him with what he said at the Hall of Fame speech. And I was basically saying that, you know, I figured you could use a pick-me-up from a motivational uh, speaker, the best motivational speaker I've ever seen. And he said, I'm going to keep this. And that's when his guy said, no video. You know, you can't take any video and stuff. But we ended up talking and things. And, and when you see him reach across and shake my hand, somebody grabbed a picture of it. We got talking, and he was like, man, I, I was in a bad place. And he said, I realized I had to get up and and get, you know, suck up the shit that I've, I'm dealing with and get going. And you don't know what this whole thing transpires-wise has done to him. You know, when you think about, I, I will say, I think it was 2019, maybe um, my original YouTube channel. Now, believe me, I'm not Michael Irvin. I'm, but I wasn't on TV, you know, being the guy, you know, Super Bowl coverage or anything like that, that, that makes it even worse. But I had my YouTube channel at that time. I had 28,000 subscribers, which to me was still amazing. And the people there were like family, you know, these were, these were my people. And my channel was shut down at that time, they said, for spam. Because, you know, this is when Travis Frederick ended up um, 
having the Hillian Barr syndrome, and I had done three videos, different videos about it, and they basically said I was spamming and, and just literally shut down the channel. Everything I had done was just gone. And I know for the first couple of weeks of, of just trying to figure out what am I going to do, where, where, where are these people, I literally cried because it was that important to me. I can't imagine Michael Irvin going through the week of Super Bowl losing not one but two things that he truly loved doing beyond the money, but that interaction. And so seeing and understanding that from at least my perspective perception on a small, small, much smaller scale can understand how that could be very, very depressing. Michael Irvin is a very outgoing person. Even after all of this stuff that's transpired with the case at Marriott, you see the type of person that he is from the interactions we had. And I want to play a little bit of that from this past weekend because I think he realizes that regardless of what happens, he may never, he may never get back being on NFL Network and ESPN. That is a possibility. Because it's hard to prove that Marriott was malicious in what they did, that they actually thought he was going to lose his job and everything else like that. And if he does not win that case, I'm not sure that NFL Network or ESPN, especially with you know ESPN's financial issues, uh, will want to get him back. So you have to be able to move on. But I want to show you a little bit of this tape so you can see, you know, he admitted to me, I was in a dark place. over there with this lady she is little, oh look at see this is what it's all about this is she is so ecstatic and here we have michael Irvin. okay Thomas Everett. I remember that back on Doug. Thirty consistent. Oh man, Mike Irvin here in Green Bay, near Dallas, receiving each weekend. Ninety-one and ninety-three. I don't know if I've ever done such a hard one. Buffalo driving. How do I go? Where do I go? Here. Leave the time wherever. Here. Oh, really? I'm on the picture. 
Okay, so it you know again, um, they asked us not to take the videotapes and stuff on there, but um, getting back into the limelight is something that Michael Irvin craves. That that has been part of his DNA forever, and I hope that they get a resolution in the end that gets him back to where he wants to be. Um, and it's just you know. It, the world is just crazy these days and it's sad that um something like this happens and i hope that he can come back from being in that dark place as always i appreciate each and every one of you guys and uh when anything breaks on this situation we will definitely let you know i appreciate you